हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन। टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थ्योरी। अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर कंफ्यूज दैट व्हाई इन द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो थ्योरी बिकॉज द लाइट विच इज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम द ट्रांसमीटर टू द रिसीवर इन एन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर इज अ वेव so now we should understand the properties of the em wave we should understand the em wave equation so as to understand the properties of the light wave which is traveling inside an optical fiber so now we are going to understand an improved model for the em waves for the optical fibers so for that we are starting with the maxwell's equation i hope you all have seen the playlist on emft if not I hope you know the Maxwell's equations. So I am going to start with the Maxwell's equation. I am not going in the derivation of the Maxwell's equation, and from that, I am going to derive the wave equation. So let's discuss about the Maxwell's equation. So we know there are four Maxwell's equation. So let's discuss all of them. so these are my four maxwell's equation the first first maxwell equation says del dot d is equal to rho v where rho v is the volume charge density second maxwell's equation says del dot b is equal to 0 according to the third maxwell's equation del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t and according to fourth maxwell's equation we have del cross h is equal to del d by del t plus j right i hope you know all of the symbols that i am using here okay e is the electric field intensity h is the magnetic field intensity and d is the electric field density b is the magnetic field density right and j is the current density over here right so let's discuss a scenario where i have the conductivity is equal to 0 So now I am considering the case when the conductivity is zero. So when the conductivity is zero, which means sigma is equal to zero, and when sigma is equal to zero, I can say directly rho is equal to zero, right? Or I can say j is equal to sigma into e, and when sigma is zero, which means j is zero. So now I can modify these four Maxwell's equation. Here I can put j to be zero, and here I can put rho v to be zero. So now let's discuss all of the four Maxwell's equation for conductivity is equal to zero. So del dot d is equal to zero. Del dot b is equal to zero. After that we have del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t. and del cross h is equal to del d by del t right so now what i am going to do i am going to take the cross product of this equation so this is my equation number 3 and i am going to take the cross product of del cross e so here i will be having del cross del cross e and here i will be having del cross minus del b by del t right so now here i can take this del cross inside and i can take del by del t outside and here i know the identity of del cross del cross e the identity of del cross del cross e would be del dot del dot e minus del square e so now here i know what is del dot e del dot d is equal to 0 So this is my first Maxwell's equation, and from this equation, I can say d is equal to epsilon e, right? So let's put it here. So now epsilon is a constant. I can pull it outside, so I can say epsilon into. So I took epsilon in the denominator of zero, so I can say del dot e is equal to zero. Now put it here. So 
right so now when i put del dot e is equal to 0 in this equation so here i will be left out with 0 minus del square e right so 0 minus del square e would be minus del square e so now this is my left hand side so now observe the right hand side so left hand side is minus del square e in the right hand side i have del cross minus del b by del t right so now in the textbooks a lot of steps are missing so i am talking about each one of the step in detail right so now here minus del square e is equal to i am taking this del by del t outside so here i will be having del by del t of i can take minus also outside del cross b right so now here I have to find out del cross B but what I know I know del cross H and I know the relationship between B and H B is equal to mu into H that I know so let's put the value of B over here so I am just observing this term so I can say minus del by del T of here del cross B can be represented as del cross mu H right so mu is a constant again i can pull the mu outside so i will be having the right hand side as del by del t minus and i can pull the mu outside so here i will be having mu and left out with del cross h yes i know what is del cross h uh, here i know what is del cross h del cross h is del d by del t so what was in the right hand side minus mu del by del t del cross h in the left hand side i simplified it was minus del cross e right so you can pull out your notebooks at least write with me so that you are not getting confused in anything i am cancelling out the signs so del cross e will be equal to mu del by del t i am just putting the value of del cross h over here it is del d by del t right so now here again i know what is d i have told you d is epsilon e i can put it so here del cross e sorry del square e will be equal to mu del by del t of del by del t it would be del square upon del t square of epsilon into e now epsilon is again a constant i can pull it outside and i can represent del square e as mu epsilon del square e upon del t square now i know the wave equation according to the wave equation So now del square psi is equal to 1 upon vp square del square psi upon del t square. Now here psi is e. We can put h also. We will be having similar equation if I am deriving for magnetic field intensity as well. So now we are observing these two equations are similar. Now we can replace psi with e. But there is another term which is vp. Right. So now I can find out what is vp over here. So for vp i can say 1 upon vp square so here i have the constant 1 upon vp square and here i have mu e so 1 upon vp square is mu e or i can say vp square is equal to 1 upon mu e or i can say vp is 1 upon under root mu e now i can write vp as under root mu naught mu r epsilon naught epsilon r so mu is the permeability and epsilon is the permittivity so mu r is the relative permeability mu naught is the permeability of the free space epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space and epsilon r is the permittivity which is relative permittivity right so now here i have derived the equation for vp now what about the magnitude so now uh, the magnitude or the electric field in the z comma t can be given as real part of e naught e raised to power minus alpha plus 
j beta into z e raised to power j omega t right so now from here i can find out the equation for e of z t so e of z t can be calculated as e not right over here i have e not e raised to power minus alpha z right and because i am taking just the real part this is the imaginary part i can neglect it so now here i can represent e raised to power j omega t as cos omega t minus beta z so now here beta is my propagation constant and alpha over here is my attenuation constant and in the similar manner this is the my wave equation for the electric field intensity for the magnetic field intensity i can write the similar wave equation so del square h is equal to let's take any constant over here let's take vp square over here or 1 upon vp square over here because here i had 1 upon vp square right and now i will be having del square h upon del t square so this is how i can represent the wave equation so i hope you understood each one of the things that i have explained in this video if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i am going to reply as soon as possible right so now why i am discussing this i hope you understood this because this is a very important part i have already discussed about the wave equation in the emft part but that was a very big discussion we were discussing it in a great detail but here i just gave you an overview that now you can relate the next videos and the upcoming wave equations with the ray model and with the next phenomena that we are going to observe so i am stopping at this point i hope you like this video if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel and also do share it with your friends and please give me your feedback as well thank you so much